Hey guys, how's it going? It is Fangs, and today we're gonna be taking a look at possible opponents for me for the now upcoming, because it's already happened, it was last weekend, now upcoming rematch between Logan Paul and KSI. So we know last weekend that it ended in a draw. There was three rounds to three rounds, pretty much. Logan took round number one, round number two, and I believe round number five, and then JJ took three, four, and six. It ended up being a draw. It totally looked like a draw to me. I know that I don't know how boxing works in terms of like punches and everything like that. I will find out very soon. But the time when they were scoring, I don't know. But to me, it looked like it. Like Logan was killing it the first two rounds, and then JJ came back like crazy. And then Logan, well, JJ came back twice like crazy. And then Logan kind of like had some new like spirit into it. And then JJ finished it in the end and had some just flurry of punches towards the end. Unfortunately, there was no knockout, but it was very exciting. And there's going to be a rematch in New York City, if I'm not mistaken, according to the contracts. And it's going to be before February, so it could probably be like January, February, but I'm imagining if you need the time to train even more, because obviously Logan needs to learn how to get some more stamina, he was done after round two, and then obviously everything else that's coming in with it, um, and Chris Brown and Jake Paul, by the way, we have to wait to see if that's going to take place. I highly doubt that Chris Brown is going to say okay to that, but anyway, it's going to be in New York. I have no idea what it'll be. It'd be kind of cool if it was somewhere like Madison Square Garden. And I went ahead and I decided to message Stewart and let him know like, hey, there should be a girl match on the undercard. I want to take part in that. And he was like, yeah, totally. We need that. We're down. And he even tweeted this, which says that Fangs needs an opponent for the match. So everyone who's just like, oh, you're not going to be a part of this. You're just clout chasing. Na -da 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 -da. I don't think you guys realize that I am a part of this, like, I know these people. Like, I don't know why people watch my videos and they think that I'm just, like, clout chasing someone like JJ. That is, like, my friend. Like, if he's got a fight camp or anything going on, I can easily be a part of it because we are friends. I just, I mean, I don't even need to explain it to you. I don't need to explain it to you. I know Stuart. I know all of them. So, yes, I'm going to be taking place in an undercard if a girl opponent will fight me. That's the biggest problem that we're having right now is I gotta find a girl opponent that'll find me. But I'm gonna start training. I've already talked to a trainer. My old camp gladiator trainer um, was a heavyweight champion. And, and I'll have to show you his page. Let's look at his page really quick. Take a look right here. His name's Kendrick Relaford. He lives in Fort Worth, Texas. He was a heavyweight boxer nicknamed The Apostle. And he actually has won some things. Where did it say? I remember looking. He, I mean, I knew all about this because he trains a bunch of people in Fort Worth. He, like where we used to work out, he was the IBF Atlantic Coast and WBO Latino heavyweight champion. Big dude 6'3 um, and so yeah I'm gonna have him train me and we're gonna have what five or six months to do it I definitely am in okay shape to make it happen I obviously need to get better stamina um, I need to get a stronger like midsection right here my stomach needs to definitely get stronger and I'm gonna have to learn how to do pretty much everything like I know how to throw punches but I don't know how to like do the moves or the stick I just don't you know I tried boxing whenever I was I think 10 or 11 and I did it for the Boys and Girls Club of America and my very first fight was against a boy I don't know why I went up against a boy he punched me in the nose pretty much broke my nose and I never did it again so it's gonna be exciting, but I need an opponent. So I wanna take a look at some of the people on Twitter that people told me I should try to check out and see. Now we obviously know that I want to fight Erica Costell. That'd be the biggest one. Like that would be just like huge to be able to fight her just because I know she's in shape. I know she'd probably be pretty good at training for boxing and it would just be like, it would be cool. But American versus American, a lot of these, you know, there's like a UK versus USA or an Australia versus USA and all this kind of stuff. Still, it would be awesome. Let's take a look at some of the people that you guys said. So, one that I have been seeing a lot is this one right here. It is Millie T, um, 25, and I believe she is from, I'm sorry if there's these like YouTubers here and you know who they are and I don't, I'm now knowing who they are, but I don't like, I didn't keep up with it. But anyway, she apparently says, if female YouTubers are involved in boxing matches in the future, I'd love to get involved. And she's got a YouTube channel, so we'll take a look at her YouTube channel right over here. I think she has over a million subscribers, 1.1. 1 .1, so we're about the same level in subscriber range. She obviously is getting some mad freaking views though. I am not in that level whatsoever when it comes to views, but she's getting some mad views and she, I believe is English. Let's listen to her accent really quick. Let's see this. Oh, I need to be able to hear this. Uh, it's literally so high, so unbearable. <laughs> It Obviously is, the and apparently she's just driving, in the UK. she's apparently driving a car for the first time, so she must be young, I'm imagining, or in the UK, maybe you start later. I'll have to look up some information on her, let's look her up. Millie T here, so we're typed in Millie T, 
Um, bio facts. Let's take a look at her bio and facts. She's 17, so she's definitely gonna have me when it comes to age. Usually you should have better reflexes and all that different kind of stuff in age. Um, 17 compared to at the time when the fight goes on, I will, I'm not gonna tell you how old I'm gonna be, but you'll know, because they're gonna tell you. The, I'll be 31 years old. That's gonna be crazy. Now, you may say, 31 years old, I don't care. I do CrossFit, I still work out. I'm in really good shape for my age. Like I was an athlete, I was a basketball player, I played softball, I was an athlete. So I can still be in really good shape for this. Don't even try to like use my age against it. I am 5'9", by the way, 150 pounds. By the time that I actually fight, I'll probably be about 140 pounds. So that is something to look at. I'm gonna probably have the height on everyone and I'm probably gonna have the reach on everyone. So I wanna know if they show her height and weight at all. That's the one thing it's gonna see. Let's height, let's look that up. Millie T height. Let's check this out. It says that she is, are you ready for this? She's still young, so she, she could still grow. She's, why are they showing, how do they even know her chest size? What the heck, she's five foot five. Okay, so I've got about four inches on her. I don't know what her reach would be. And then her weight is 132 pounds. So that's like, that's comparable. That's not that much difference. So this could possibly be somebody that we can look at. I know another person that people were bringing up. Let me go see really quick. Um, would be, who is it? Kirsty Austin. Oh, here's Captain Kiki. This is one I've seen a couple of times, I believe. Captain Kiki. Oh no, this isn't one, but I know I've heard of Captain Kiki. Cutest full-time partner Twitch streamer. Is this somebody, has she said anything about wanting to do boxing? I'm learning every day. See, you have to wait and see. If they're not interested in doing the boxing at all, then I don't want to have to like sit here and try to call someone out who's not interested in it. So I just like go past and see. But I know that there's different people. Celestia Vega, that's one of Kitty Plays. I don't think that she's interested in doing it. She might be. I don't think she is. Zoe Berger, definitely don't think she's interested in doing it. I'm just saying that right now. Erica Costell obviously would be my biggest one that I'd want to do on top of either her comparable only because, let me look at her height and weight actually really quick. He tried to kill her. I'm trying to type in height and it says he tried to kill her. Five foot seven inches. How much does she weigh though? I'm very interested to see that. Do they have that? Oh, we got celebrity, healthy celebrity. She is five foot seven, born in 1993. She's a Scorpio, November 12th. I'm November 3rd. She's 24, so also younger than me. They're all gonna be younger than me. She has 12 siblings. Holy crap, her parents banged like rabbits. She went to Middle Tennessee. We got that here, Build Athletic, 121 pounds. I got about 30 pounds on you. <laughs> I got about 30 pounds, so that would be the biggest difference right there. Um, but yeah, this would be a good one right here. This is one we need to put in, the, obviously, the thing take. We need to get her to respond to us, which she's been taking her time not doing, but Erica Costell is one of them. That's the one I've been seeing the most that people like message me about. Um, there's some more down here. We'll just go through the list because I it's uh, people want to see Erica Costell and Lis Alyssa Violet though more than anything um, I saw the Ebony Day one, but the PETA I can't box PETA She's like one of my good good gamer girlfriends and she is much shorter than I am like she would have a She might be able to beat my she'd probably be able to beat me up IRL She'd probably be able to beat me up But in boxing it would be kind of unfair amount of reach that I would have on her because she's about five foot one and I'm five foot nine and I would just like be able to just just, just reach out, but I still think she could possibly do it. We got what else here? Oh, let's look and see if we, if we want to see what we already saw. It says we need to find an opponent for Fang. See that? Do you see that? Okay, Talia Mar. That's my son's girlfriend. I mean, if she wanted to do it, I would do it, but I would feel terrible because I would not want to box my son's girlfriend. We wouldn't want to put that on there. There was a lot for Sniper Wolf, but I can't find that anymore. Here's some different ones that they put together. Um, I've seen this one. Po Pokemon Lal. I've seen this one before and I'm pretty sure she said something possibly about doing some boxing, if I'm not mistaken, if I can go through 100% rigged. Uh, maybe not, maybe she has not said anything about it. Donations, no. Okay, so this is another one that people are just throwing out there and I doubt that she wants to box. Guys, it has to be someone who's also willing to want to do it as well. We have to think about that. So this is one that's popped up here. We have Sniper Wolf. I think Sniper Wolf is much shorter than me as well. That picture, is just crazy because that gun these days although that is a, that's the scar that's my favorite gun in fortnite anyway let's take a look at sniper wolf height, height? can i not spell height let's see what there is we got ss sniper wolf see if it'll show me all of her inflammation here she is let's wait for it body measurements that doesn't help five foot four inches tall 54 kg what is what? The people do it 54 kg to pounds 119 I got height and that'd be five inches on her on top of nearly 20 pounds 20 20 or 30 pounds 
I don't know if that'd be fair, guys. I don't know if that'd be fair. I mean, I, I did call her out. She didn't respond to it. She decided, when I called her out, she decided to make a video very similar, like, talking about the fact, but not even, like, paying attention that I called her out. Maybe she missed it. She doesn't follow me on Twitter anymore. Why, her and Azzy Land apparently have some kind of, like, tiff. That could be one that could happen, by the way. They apparently have some kind of thing. I was followed and followed both of them, and, like, they, like, said something to each other, and I just happened to, like, comment on how good Azzy's body looked. And then, uh, you know, I think I was unfollowed like right after that. So apparently that's like serious business right there. So I'm not gonna be a part of that. But this, I mean, I'd do it. I'd fight Sniper Wolf. I'd, I'd fight Sniper Wolf if she wanted to, but that's up to her. That's another one. You gotta let her know. I know that you guys follow her. Let her know. Fangs is looking for an opponent and I'd definitely fight her, put her on there, put it on the tab. What else do we got here? Um, let's go back through here. I think a big one was Kirsty Austin. Let me go back to my notifications. I keep seeing that. Angling for a fight. Millie T, obviously. Captain Kiki. Celestia Vegas, no. Um, there was one, oh, what is it? Chloe Bennett. Chloe Bennett's not gonna wanna fight, guys. So don't even throw her name out there, because I'm near positive she is not gonna wanna fight. Um, Ebony Day, let's take a look at Ebony Day over here. So Ebony Day is looking like she's very happy with life in this. She's from London, England. Interesting, let's hear this. She's a mom too, it looks like. Mom versus mom? This could be, how old is she? I need to know how old she is. Let's check out her channel really quick. How old is this girl? I have to see this. The ultimate battle of the MILFs? Is that what's gonna happen right here? Ebony has 289K. Subscribers to me do not matter, to be honest. They do not matter. Um, she gets pretty good views before and after weekly vlogs. Oh, she looks like she's a singer. That's nice, okay. So this is somewhere we can look at now. Oh, here we go. We're having a baby a year ago. So they have a daughter that's a little bit older than mine and things I've learned at 25. So she has a kid at 25, which is totally normal, but we can definitely do the battle of the MILFs right here. That could be the battle of the MILFs. That one could happen. I don't know how tall she is. Let's see if it shows that. Ebony, Ebony Day Height. Boom, Let's check this out. Ebony Day, I hope this is showing the right person. If it's not, then I'll be totally, that doesn't even look like the same person. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Millie, we're still here on Millie T, Ebony Day. Unless she dyed her hair. 25, no, this could be the right person, 25 years old. Doesn't show the height and weight. Not sure, you guys love to get back to me on that one, but that could possibly be a good one. It doesn't really, I guess for this, I don't feel like it completely matters, but we'll look through anyway. So that's somebody. There's another opponent right there. What else do we got here? Let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. Hello Twitter. We've got Kirsty Austin. I've been added a lot for Kirsty Austin. This could be another one we could look at. I know Kirsty Austin. I've met her. She's got about 225,000 subscribers. I don't know her height and weight. Let me look. I'll throw this on here. So we've got her facts. How old is she? She's 19. She's another young one. Another young one. Let's see if they'll show me. That one doesn't usually show their height. The Ultimate Sidemen fandom. I don't think it's going to show. She'll have to tell me what hers is too. That could be another one. That'd be like a UK versus USA battle. And that would be pretty interesting. Like I wouldn't mind boxing against Kirstie Austin as well. That could be someone that could totally, totally see happening. So there is a ton of people that are opponents out there. All I know is that I want to box. Um, I'm going to have a trainer. I'm going to start not this week, but next week on Wednesday. And I'm going to start learning. I'm going to diet. I'm going to get it all together. I'm going to get my fitness up, my stamina up, my body into the complete most epic shape it could possibly be. And I think I kind of want to take you on that journey of that. So you might see a lot more vlogs on this channel coming out like in the future. Please let me know if you want to see that. Put hashtag journey in the comments down below. But one of these girls, some of these girls, anybody you guys can think of, let me know some girls in the comments down below for people who we can possibly box in that upcoming match. We know we need to set it up. Some of them do it last minute. I'd like to know who I was gonna fight like soon so I can have a game plan and all that kind of stuff. But that's gonna be it for this video here today. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget the thumbs up button. If you wanna see this happen, a girl in the undercard, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Gently though, don't break it. Don't break it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, see you guys later.